Discover Israel like you've never seen it before. Israel, a land of wonders. But what exactly makes a country? What is this land we call Israel? Israel is one of the most amazing countries that you could possibly think of living in. Small country, very much to see. Israel is a land of wonders. It's my life, my life, my life, and my life. It's happiness. That's what it's. This place is. This is a very unique place. And it's the best place in the world. The spirit was there. I mean, we were shouting and dancing and just praising God. This place is here. It's here. It's here. It's here. I feel like I am actually really falling in love with Israel, especially in the north. It's so beautiful. It takes just two short hours to fly from the snow-capped summit of Mount Hermon in the north to the cracked and craggy peaks of the Negev desert around Eilat in the south. Along the way, you'll discover a country packed with breathtaking beauty. Sometimes, Israel appears like an artist's palette of colors. At other times, it looks like the unfinished work of a mighty sculptor. of sun, sea, and sand, we have fun out in nature or in our many cities. Some of our cities have their roots in antiquity. Others are so modern, they seem to have materialized out of the very air we breathe today. Around a hundred years ago, on the sand dunes just to the north of Jaffa, Tel Aviv was built. We love the Israeli attitude, the people are fantastic, the food, the food, <laughs> the food is amazing. It's a city that don't stop, you know, you always can find something to do in Tel Aviv. Its founding fathers originally planned Tel Aviv as an idyllic European-style garden city. Today, sprouting designer high-rise buildings Alongside tree-lined streets and leafy gardens, Israel's biggest metropolis has been dubbed the Mediterranean's new capital of cool. Israel's cities have more museums of history and art per person than any other country in the world. And with a thriving performing art scene, these cities are just as alive at night as they are during the day.
But just like everywhere else, people here work hard to earn their pleasure. A country with limited natural resources, Israel blossomed with the arrival of the high-tech era. Thanks to its prestigious institutions and vibrant commercial sectors, Israel is on the cutting edge of almost every field of science and technology. Standing proudly in the 21st century, Israel is as new as the latest technological breakthrough and as old as the sands of time. So much happened here. It's almost the, uh, the world's birthplace. Being able to really experience history on a day-to-day -day basis. We're able to see it all around us. Things that you're reading here in the Bible, in the Sunday school, and you are right in here where it all happened 2,000 years ago. The crossroads of continents. This land has seen wave after wave of the world's empires arrive at its shores. Assyrians, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Crusaders, Mamluks, Ottomans. Each one of these conquerors wreaked havoc here in their own particular fashion. And then they all slowly disappeared into the mists of history. Closer to these times, our lives have been impacted by events, both here and abroad. All these events, whether ancient or modern, left their mark, enriching the landscape of this unique, all-new land. In the final years of the 19th century, dedicated Zionists began a return to their ancient homeland. Arriving from the four corners of the earth, these young men and women pioneered the way for a new country. Driven by dreams of a better world, they created kibbutzim and moshavim, villages, towns and cities. They filled every inch of this country with vibrant communities of every shape and size. In an unstoppable spirit of renewal, they paved roads through the uncharted countryside. With untold efforts, they labored to turn the desert green. decades, agriculture was among the main engines powering our country's economic growth. In the 1950s, the Khula Valley was seen as useless marshland and was drained to make way for more productive farming. In the 60s, the Khula Lake was declared Israel's first nature reserve. 
then, in 1994, parts of the valley were re-flooded, restoring the Hula to its rightful place as a precious wetland and bird sanctuary. Now, once again, the Hula Valley welcomes millions of birds on their annual migration between Europe and Africa. After just six decades, life flows here in all sorts of ways. But wherever you go in this country, you always feel how our roots descend deep into antiquity. Ever since the days of Abraham, the land of Israel has carried an eternal promise. A promise that calls to people far beyond its borders. So we started uh, weeping and we started singing uh, Atikva and dancing Ora, and then we came uh, down to the ground and we kissed the land. I went to the top of the hill to get to the top and I got to the top and I got to the top. I don't know how to say it every day. The peace and the peace that will save us from our mistakes. It was here that the belief in one God first took a hold. Here that the Ten Commandments were first followed, a universal code that would later become a pillar of world civilization. Across this land, from Jerusalem to the Galilee, the Jewish people and their faith have flourished throughout the ages. And over the generations, like threads in a great carpet, other religious communities have woven their lives and found a home here too. Sharing a belief in the best of mankind, we hope that one day all the children of Abraham will unite to fulfill the promise of peace eternally alive in this land called Israel, this land of wonders. Thank you.